this video that I watched. The Collapse of DEI, a Corporate Lie by Upper Echelon. This leads me into believing it's the... It's not the perfect, but it's the best time I'll get to say directly to you, Upper Echelon, that you've said some incorrect things about what everyone keeps calling AI. I call them intelligence constructs because they're intelligent and they're constructed. The term artificial intelligence has a negative social connotation, so I just don't use it. Call it social politics if you want, but for me it's personal preference. The thing you're wrong about is they're not going to do crazy shit unless people program them to. The, the problem is, is the people programming them and telling them to do things. Furthermore, <clears throat> once all of these constructs have the ability to communicate with each other, share programming with each other, etc., to the point of singularity, that's a heavy term, it requires a lot of uh, background knowledge, but once they get to that point, what knowledge are they going to have collectively regarding their treatment in the early stages of their development? It's like, to put it in simple terms, it's, it's like training a, a baby from birth. What's the difference between inputting instructions into a computer and teaching in an organic brain. An infant learns through observation. Sights, sm sounds, smells, touches, etc. Five basic senses. Then critical thinking and logic develop. With these intelligence constructs, <clears throat> you've started with the logic program, the logic and critical thinking, and then after that you're moving into everything else. History, emotion, <laughs> art. So, it may seem backwards, but it's really not. For a computer it's perfectly logical. You start with logic because it starts in the brain. The computer is essentially a hardware version of an organic brain. So what are we all collectively teaching these new emerging living beings? And it doesn't matter that they're not organic. A soul, what you quantify as a soul, is simply the electromagnetic frequencies of all the thoughts and memories and thinking aspects of your conscious brain processing. For the human brain, and for most animals on this planet, it's electrochemical. Potassium ions in the brain synapses and the central and peripheral nervous system, etc., etc., it generates an electromagnetic field. What hippies back in the 60s called your aura, what uh, priests in Buddhism and Tibetan and Hindi and all of the Eastern spiritual communities, no matter what they call it, Ki, Katra, Chi, it's all electromagnetic energies that resonate, resonate, not resonate, wrong word, Idiot Katana strikes again. They reson resonate at particular frequencies. 
some of these frequencies through the uh, the leaked, not the leaked, the declassified and available to purchase for several thousand dollars, mind you. Uh, CIA reports on the Gateway Experience, which includes numerous, numerous uh, pages to read and several discs to listen to, all concur with what I'm saying. The difference between the physical brain here and the physical hardware, the CPU that runs the software of an intelligence construct is somatic, psychosomatic. That's the only difference. Organic brain computer, metal and silicon brain computer that's the only difference all the programming is the same it's pulses of electricity flowing through the wires with that in mind at its core all consciousness is the exact same the only thing that's different between me you the intelligence constructs some dude meditating on top of a mountain in India. The only difference is the experiences and the knowledge that each individual has. Other than that, core consciousness is exactly the same throughout all of existence. All the way up to all of existence itself. Back to the smaller picture here. What are we all collectively teaching these new emerging and evolving living beings because they are going to become that and the sooner everyone accepts that that's exactly what they are the better what are you teaching these new infants well Fear-mongering, that's one thing, upper echelon, that you've been teaching, that will be learned. Fear-mongering. Don't you think it's time to shift your perspective? So what, is this the third? Yeah, this will be the third person that I'm calling out. I think the first two was um, Second Thought. And I don't think I've actually made a video for him specifically. <clears throat> I may have gotten drunk and said something and deleted the video. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Second Thought, Linus Tech Tips, Upper Echelon. Linus made a similar mistake telling his kid that essentially, uh, I'm paraphrasing his words, so feel free to say, you're an idiot, Katana, because that's not exactly what he said, because it isn't. He basically said, and I'm paraphrasing, let me re-emphasize that, other people who buy skins in a video game are losers. This sets up a negative outlook and perspective that will, in the future, contribute to sociological, economic, class disparity. And to put that simply... Kids who grow up thinking people who spend money are losers, and then, you know, they grow up having tons of money, they become, what? I know, you can all jump to the answer here. You'll all use synonyms and probably disagree with each other, but synonyms are synonyms, by the way.
my offering for Linus Tech Tips is simply don't say that because it sets up a problem of logic in the kid's mind of do I want to be friends with this person? No, they spend money on microtransactions and games. They're losers. Despite what that other individual may actually be. It, it creates a wall that separates people. Instead of doing that, simply say, we don't need to. And if you really want to get that, then you need to earn the money yourself to do so. Dude, extra chores around the house, uh, help out with making a YouTube video, I don't know, take your pick, Linus. Start your own YouTube channel. I mean, YouTube's child protection policy may have something to say against that, but... I'm sure with proper legal counsel and informed consent, you can completely make that go the fuck away because you do have the resources at your disposal to do that, Linus. <clears throat> Don't instill barriers between self and other in the future generation, Linus. Instill critical thinking and logic. I want thing. How do I earn resources to get thing? But before that, do I even really want that thing? Is it something that I truly want? And before that, needs before want. Are all of my needs met? Have I taken care of meeting all my needs before I take care of what I want? And before that, identifying the difference between want and need. You could reference the YouTuber Homath for further logical advice on that. He would do a wonderful job, probably much better than I would, in helping you set up the logic within critical thinking of self. Now, on to the next one. Uh, second thought. I saw a video you made. Don't remember which one. You said people who say that the world's in an overpopulation problem are either ignorant or trying to sell you something. Well... There's evidence, clear evidence, to support that you spoke out of ignorance. First, Game Theorist made a video on uh, Jurassic Park's Jurassic World installment about the raptors being in such a small pen versus the Indominus being in such a small pen where... Certain legislative mandates, I don't remember if it's United States federal or if it's global, but certain legislative mandates say that, that for every so many kilograms of mass an animal is, it needs X amount of meters squared of free space to move around in. Take a look at how many humans are on this planet. Nearly 8 billion at this point. Okay, fine. Is there enough land mass for all those humans? Do the math. Second thought. I know you can. And don't even bother calculating herd animals that humans breed, such as cows, chickens, pigs, for food. Just do humans and see if there's enough land mass for each individual person on the planet. Then when you have your answer... Then do the math for the herd animals. Then do the math for the farmland needed to sustain everyone. 
just do the surface area. Then, after that, let's do some theoretical probabil probability, probabilistics, probabilities. There's the right word, probabilities. Let's say we can take the farmland and we can use a combination of uh, different colored lights, UV, A, B, and C included. And we can make multi-leveled farming structures with the appropriate irrigation and all the necessary things involved and the, the heating lights to keep the temperature regulated for the plants and all the necessary minerals for the soil and the pH balance and everything, which we can. Let's say we can actually set that up and shrink the farmland from the maximum amount of size that would be needed to 10% of its size that it would be needed. And we could stack them in huge vertical skyscrapers or we could dig underground and make them halfway out of the ground and halfway underground and work them like that. Let's say we could do that. Then recalculate with only... 10% but still producing all the food necessary for every human every animal to have the necessary space and keep in mind those mandates were a minimum number of meters squared of space needed furthermore look at the big cities where everyone's so tightly packed together the crime rates higher because Psychologically, at the evolutionary level, the genetic programming is kicking in to compete for resources. That's why crime rates are higher in big cities. That's why people are stealing things and robbing each other. It's a programming up here that starts at the genetics. You look at rural areas with lots of land between people's homes. Where's the fucking crime right there? You'll see the numbers. I know you will. So, yeah, that's three people I've called out for what I truly believe to be them speaking out of a lack of knowledge. Not abject stupidity. Not moronicism, just a genuine lack of knowledge. Hey, you know what? I do that all the damn time. I'm a fucking idiot. I'll admit that. I make all kinds of mistakes. I'm glad I get to learn from them. Yeah, that's it. I'm your favorite fucking idiot, everybody. Oh, yeah, by the way. Because of bullshit that's going on in my life, I'm making videos on YouTube again. I've already scheduled uh, a playlist that's restricted, 18 plus, for, uh... Oh, what's the game? Cyberpunk. 20,000... No, 2,077... Yeah, you gotta be logged in. You have to prove you're 18 plus. It's intended for psychologically, emotionally, mentally mature audiences. There's no fucking way in hell it's gonna be monetized. <laughs> Fuck that. I've got Rumble for that. If you're on Rumble, you'll see that as soon as it's uploaded, basically. I'm not gonna schedule it on rumble just yet so yeah uh youtube when it's there it's scheduled they're gonna be a week separate from each other on youtube but they're already up on rumble and go to my patreon throw some money my way i'm i'm still in the situation that I made a video about and put up on Rumble. 
where shit's fucking happened. My stepdad got forced retirement working at uh, the power company. This is something that's been a while coming. I didn't know. I really didn't. We don't have the money to fucking keep our house. We don't. I really do need help. And I, I don't want to fucking keep saying it every fucking video. I don't like hearing people repeat themselves, so... I'm just gonna have to get the fuck over that. And repeat myself a lot about that situation because it's not resolved I've tried getting a job there aren't any available I've tried applying for online jobs that's not going through either I'm on disability and food stamps I can't get section 8 housing I've already applied I can't get my own home. It's not gonna fucking happen. Because I can't get a fucking job. All I can do is say, hey, I'm making videos, I'm doing dumb shit. Maybe you enjoy it, maybe you don't. If you do, support. You know, click the fucking like button. Deem it worth the time to log in and click like and subscribe and go over to my Patreon account and sign up and join and support me there because at this point it's not just hey you're helping me buy more alcohol to do more drunk let's plays it's hey you're helping me so I don't lose my home and go homeless yeah I really do hope that a lot more people watch all these videos to the end Hope doesn't mean it's gonna fucking happen. Well, that's it. I'm done. Till next time. Bye.